Okay, so let's make this inexpensive, simple 12 plant fog pond cloner. But first, I made a guide to go right alongside this video. It should be a great resource for you. It is free and you can download it in the description box below. All right, now first step, let's measure out and mark our drill holes. So I discovered that I could fit 12 two inch net pots on this lid without compromising the integrity of the lid at all. So I did three rows of four net pots. So next we're gonna put it in our two inch drill bit and drill out the holes that we just marked. And make sure the holes are nice and clean, pulling off any little bits of plastic that are stuck on. It's kind of tedious, but you definitely wanna make sure that's not in your water. Now we're gonna to switch to the half inch drill bit and drill a hole in the top of the bin for the power cord to run through. Be super careful drilling out this hole. This is pretty cheap plastic and it's really easy to rip it up like I did here. But if you do this, don't worry too much. We can fix it in just a second. Next, we're gonna fill the reservoir about one third of the way with water. We're gonna assemble our ultrasonic fogger with the floater and the splash guard. Go ahead and put that in the water and we're gonna lead the wire through the hole and fit the grommet in really just the best that you can. Now we're gonna fire up the glue gun to fix my mistake. So I'm gonna glue the front and the back with a liberal amount of glue. It's not pretty, but it works. So next we're gonna put the lid on and fill the holes with our net cups. Then with our cloner cuffs. And then we're gonna set our timer to run for 30 minutes because this timer only has 30 minute intervals. So I'm gonna set it to run for 30 minutes every hour and a half. If you have a 15 minute timer, which is what I recommend, you can do 15 minutes every hour, and I'd say that's probably ideal. The reason you can't run it full time is because the water will get too hot, and that'll nuke your roots, it'll cause root rot, all sorts of issues in your reservoir, and we just don't want that. Next thing we need to do is cover the clear reservoir. This is to prevent any algae growth in our nutrient reservoir. So you can be really creative with this part. You can paint it or wrap it, just put a sweater over it, whatever you wanna to use to keep light out. I'm gonna use duct tape to cover it, and there you go. So next and the final thing we're gonna do is fit a humidity dome. I have used a small 10 gallon aquarium previously and that worked pretty well. Um, but for this application, I'm gonna keep it really cheap and simple and I have a slightly larger clear plastic container that fits perfectly over the top. Uh, it allows just the right amount of light in and some air in while trapping the moisture inside for the clones. When you're cloning, you have to have very high humidity, but we're gonna go over that in the next video, which is gonna be all about how to maintain and use your cloner. Hi, Editing Chad here, and first off, I just want to stop and say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed and become part of the Humble Growth family. We have just reached 4,000 subscribers, and I cannot believe that it's gotten so big. I can't believe there are so many people interested in hydroponics. Uh, it's a very exciting time, and as it grows, I find myself busier and busier uh, trying to get to comments and answer questions and engage with you guys and answer emails. Um, and as you may or may not know, I have a wife and two kids and um, I love my beautiful family so much and I'm finding that I'm spending far too much of my time trying to get to all the comments and it just seems to be impossible as things are growing more and more so what we did my wife and I brainstormed and came up with the idea to do a membership on YouTube uh, what that's gonna get you is two one hour long live streams that I'm gonna do every month that all the members can be in and ask questions and engage with me and we can talk one on one, well, one on however many members are in the group um, about hydroponics. I wanna have a theme for every discussion, but of course it's always gonna have a bit of area that's just open for any free discussion too. Since I'm finding it so hard to answer all of the comments and answer all the questions, uh, what the membership's gonna do is boost people's comments to the top because I just don't find that I have enough time to keep coming back and answering all the comments and questions. Unfortunately, that's just how things go as things grow and I have more and more people and more and more engagement. It's a great thing, but it's also kind of a double-edged sword as there's only 24 hours in a day. And lastly, members are gonna get to view videos two days 
earlier than anybody else on YouTube. I'm gonna drop videos to members and answer comments to members uh, before anybody else in, on YouTube gets a chance to see the video or even comment on it. This is because I know there are people out there who get serious benefits from these videos and are really serious about growing and it's gonna be worth it to them to become a member because of these benefits. I don't want you guys to get lost in the crowd of people, let alone hydroponic trolls who, who just want to shoot down the community. I don't want that to be part of your experience on my channel. I want to cater the experience as much as I can and I find that through this membership program it allows me to offer the education and experience that I really want to give you guys as the channel starts to grow out of my control. So that was a lot. Thank you for listening and you can find more information on the, uh, the Humble Growth homepage on YouTube. Um, look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Let's grow together.